Hello everyone, welcome back to The Current, the quick response news program from Jockey Club TE College. Where we report on the latest issues, events and culture. I'm Samantha. And I'm Joshua. Haunted houses in Hong Kong? No! 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 no. no. Last week, we did a current meeting about haunted house hunters. That's right. Five of them got caught working into a haunted school and were fined for breaking COVID regulations. Go check out the mini to see for yourself. After making that mini, we got super curious about haunted houses in Hong Kong. Do we really have some good ones? Are they real? Will we see a ghost if we visit one? After discussion, we decided to learn more and send four teams from the current out to visit four famous haunted locations in Hong Kong. Now, we know this might be controversial. Visiting possible haunted houses, and maybe disturbing ghosts. And it's not even Halloween! So we told our teams not to go inside if they don't want to, not to break any laws, and not to do anything stupid. Just see what the site looks like and tell us why the location is supposedly haunted. Our teams went to High Street in Sian Kun, the famous tech test school in Yunlong, the Chen Shawan slaughterhouse, and the famous ghost house of Kalun Liu Seng Chun. Let's take a look at what they found. Hi everyone, I'm Amanda. And I'm Samantha. We're here in Sai Kun to see one of the most famous haunted buildings in Hong Kong, on High Street. And there it is. It's pretty cool looking actually. It's very colonial and over 130 years. This site is famous not just because of one or two ghost stories, but because it was actually first a mental hospital where obviously weird things happened like robotomies where they cut holes in mentally ill people's heads to cure them more importantly though during world war ii this is where japanese soldiers captured hong kong people and then tortured and executed them so lots of death in there yep even if no one says anything about seeing ghosts this history is enough to keep many people away. Apparently, the rent in this area is all lower because of this building and its history. I definitely wouldn't want to live there. Me neither. So, are there any actual ghost stories about it? In the late 90s and early 2000s, they made it into a community center and there were many reports of weird things. People say they heard women crying. Footsteps sounds at strange times of the day. Someone said they saw hatless ghost bodies floating by. And one woman says she feels like ghosts that burst into flame. There's a lot of ghost stories in just one place. I definitely wouldn't go here, even just to play cards. Well, it really does look just like a cool historical building, but I wouldn't go in there either knowing its history. So, that's High Street. Bye! Bye. Hello, I'm Sophie. Today I'm in Yunnan to see the site of one of the most famous haunted schools in Hong Kong. Haunted school. Here it is. Why is this place so famous and considered haunted? There is a couple of reasons actually. Uh, during World War II, local Hong Kongers fought and resist the Japanese, who then captured them execute them and bury their bodies somewhere on the campus. We don't know where, but it was supposedly a massacre. And people say they sometimes see ghosts walking around that might be from that event. The most famous story here, though, is that one of the last women's dresses committed suicide on campus, and she was wearing a red dress when she did. Now, most stories are ghost sightings reported by people who sneak in. Are those of a ghost woman in a red dress walking around? A bunch of kids broke in a number of years ago. The story goes that one of the girls went a bit crazy. They think she was possessed by some spirit. Anyhow, I'm not going inside there. So this is the end. Bye! which is actually a former slaughterhouse. A slaughterhouse is where people kill thousands of pigs, cows, and sheep. So, it's about animal ghosts? Yup, animal ghosts. Because so many died here. It looks pretty difficult. 
difficult to get into. Yup. There's no way we'd even be able to sneak in. We won't. Nope. So what's the story? The most famous animal ghost story told about this place was that back in 1983. There was one buffalo that screamed a terrible amount as it was being killed. Workers were so shocked by how terrible it was that they did not kill the buffalo and instead let it go. And then after it died, its animal ghost visited one of the workers. They even built a statue in front of a temple to honor this buffalo spirit. But does the spirit buffalo walk around this place? It doesn't seem like it. I mean, they let it go, right? So this place is famous because of all the dead animal ghosts that might be walking around. I guess. Well, it looks abandoned to me. I mean, it's scary. But I know, it's just a place where the normal business of preparing food took place. I never really think about animal ghosts. Me neither. But randomly they tried to turn this place into an art hub. But it failed because the artist didn't like the creepy atmosphere. Anyhow, that's the chance I want to watch about. Bye! Bye. Wow, that was fun! And so many different types of haunted locations! Yep, a storage building in Saimpun, a school with some terrible history, a slaughterhouse, and a seemingly regular building in Kowloon. How many haunted houses are there in Hong Kong? Oh. Here's what our research found interesting. There are way more than I thought, at least more than 34,000! What? what? That's what a leading realty website in Hong Kong called Spacious says on their website, where they actually have a huge list of all the deaths at properties in Hong Kong. Real estate agents are required by law to report deaths at residences, but I had no idea there were so many. I know if you look at houses for sale, there are currently 4,173 haunted properties listed. If you look at houses for rent, there are currently 34,904 haunted properties listed. There's so many haunted properties. Here's a map field where we zoom in to see all the haunted locations. They even have a cute little ghost symbol. Looking around our school in Fotan, you can see that the database shares all the details for what happened at certain locations. At this estate, for example, a 29-year-old woman with depression jumped off a building. While a 70-year-old man just fell off the building and died. That seems to have been an accident. Here, an 88-year-old woman was found dead in her home. It doesn't say why. Could have been old age. Here, a 59-year-old man jumped from a balcony. And here's another man just found dead, no cause given. Here they found a 24-year-old man unconscious, but they couldn't rescue him. Drugs maybe? I have no idea. Oh my, a 90-year-old man choked to death on candy here. I better be more careful. And look at that, a VP from KG5 killed himself here. Too sad. At least it wasn't at a school though. But that doesn't include recent COVID deaths. Or just normal regular deaths from like old age. It just includes tragic deaths. But does that mean all of them are haunted? It depends on how you define haunted house. I mean seriously, most homes that are old enough have seen at least someone die. That doesn't mean it's haunted. Nor does someone die because they committed suicide or fell off a balcony. The question then becomes if you, students and viewers, believe that these are all haunted. Is every house that has a tragic death haunted? And how long does the house stay haunted anyhow? Just until we forget the tragedies that happened there? It all comes down to what we believe in. To conclude, we would like to pose four questions for you all to discuss in your classroom or home after viewing this. The questions are, do you believe in ghosts and haunted houses? Would you ever visit a haunted house? When does a house stop being haunted? Would you ever live in a house where someone had died? 
So go ahead and discuss those four questions. See if you guys can figure out how to deal with haunted houses in Hong Kong. That concludes this episode of The Current. We hope you enjoy it. And that it sparks some good conversation. See you next time. Bye. Bye.